I'm Paul Sims, and I'm here with Joe Fury, Mike Reisner, Robert Spina. And on the phone, we have Maura Tierney. Hello, Maura. Hello. <laughs> so nice of you to show up today. Listen, I got to pay the bills. I know. What are you? What were you actually do? Where are you right now? I'm at Warner Brothers Studios. You just finished a day of a hard week of work on ER. I did. Oh, good. Now, what do you think about this episode we're watching? I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh. Would you like to guess? Don't mm. tell her. What season is it? It's uh, the first episode of season four. I'll give you a hint. Dave has a wig on. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's that a very oh obvious God. wig. That doesn't narrow it down very much. I and, boy, John, and John Lovitz is sticking his head through the window. Um, Lovitz? You mean season five? No, no, no. Season four. The first episode it's of season four. It's a trick question. Oh, it is a trick question because... Wait, and, and Lovitz is there? Yeah, Lovitz yes. is there. and He's standing on the ledge. He's standing outside he's on, on ledge. Dave's ledge. Uh, now do you remember? Right, I do remember, Every, yes. Everyone, uh, just to, uh, everyone has uh, sounded off with their, their thoughts about this, but what do you remember about Dave and the wig? This is the most <laughs> thing I remember. Two things. Yes. One, Shocking, he looked without the wig. <laughs> you know, we haven't commented about that very much, but yeah, it was yes, very. Yes, we did. I said he looked like Curly from the. Oh, three that's stages. right. It was a very short crew cut. And what's the other it was thing? So short, and we all showed up to something, and we were like, "Oh my God, Dave had really short hair." And the other thing I remember is Tom Chironis, yes. because like there was a hold up, and we couldn't start shooting. And we we're waiting to shoot. And we we're waiting to shoot, and I didn't know what it was. And I said to Tom, "What's going on?" And he goes. Dave doesn't like his wig. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear many good Sharonis impressions, but that, that was is a good a, one. That's that is very good. good. He doesn't, doesn't like, like his, his wig. wig. Um, <laughs> you know, so far, I, have we seen uh, Maura in this episode yet? Yeah, she was just there a second ago, uh, sitting at the desk. Oh, there she there is. There she is. Look, Maura, you're showing some leg at this point. Oh, how do they look? Look pretty good. Look good. Looks, looks good. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that's Andy's leg. Sorry. Oh, he has nice. He does have nice legs. Um, what else can you say about this episode? That, Joe? that wig is not good. <laughs> I yeah, I know. It, it, it's it, really it, noticeable. In other episodes we've watched, we've kind of said, is, is that a wig? Is that not the wig? Is that after wig? But in this episode, that is definitely the wig. I can tell you some stuff wig about that. Wig a funny color? Yeah, it's like wig colored. Yeah. <laughs> it's too dark. There's a good the story about this episode is uh, we shot a lot of... The, remember, we a lot of this footage we shot for the exterior of the building oh, that's right. was all shot the previous. When did we do that? Uh, a few months before. A this. few months before this, when we went to New like York. That was the last thing. Oh, you shot it on location. No, well, remember, remember when we went to New York and we shot all those things for the opening credits? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we also shot uh, a sort of a background plate to put on the green screen. When when we're looking outside, well, when 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 Phil and Lovitz end up hanging off that uh, rope outside the office, and the office we shot it in actually was the old uh, NBC. Uh, well, it still is the. I guess it's no, it's not still. It was the old late night with David Letterman offices where Joe and I and Julie Bean had all worked before. Right, but isn't that it, now it's Conan O'Brien's no, office? No, it's, it's not. Oh. Now it's uh, some kind of NBC Universal Finance Department oh, and accounting. Okay. All right. And you also shot a couple of insert scenes, little brief things that we put into the first couple or three episodes. That's true. Yeah, with the, one of them was Mora. You'll remember oh, on, in, in the that. Side car. Yes, in the sidecar. Yeah. And uh, and that this footage right here. Which and Dave's, is the, Dave's hair through the titles was very short. That's yes. true. That's, we didn't have the wig yet, and that's why we put his name in the credits over his right. head so that you wouldn't see it. <laughs> there's Mora, there's you in Brooklyn looking across the. Uh, Across the river to Manhattan. Vicky in front of Grand Central. Phone? Yeah, at the yep. payphone. Yep. There's Joe Rogan. There's Candy drawing a picture on uh, Phil's face. And Phil knocking coffee. Up. I forgot that we did variations on yeah. all of these too. I didn't even. I didn't realize this. Oh, of course. Several different uh, little jokes in those. I kind of forget the story of this. Though Lovitz is a jumper, right? He's on a ledge, and he has some kind of demand. He's a disgruntled uh, Jimmy James Industries employee, I believe. There we go. That's why we have Robert Spina here for these things, because he remembers what the episodes are actually about. <laughs> yes. He's not even looking at I don't Phil, remember what I did in it. Uh, Phil wants to get the story, too, isn't it? He's he's trying to get the story before... Uh, That's true. I think he wants an exclusive he wants interview exclusive, with, yes. with, with the jumper. Right. Uh, what it is. We're looking at Joe Rogan walking by with some rope and hooking Phil into a harness at this point. So One of his many harnesses. Yeah, yeah. I, so I assume there's some kind of visual comedy coming up. Maura, what do you, uh, of the fourth season, uh, 
Was the fourth season your favorite or your least favorite season? I, it's hard. To, I wish I was watching it. What, when did um, Phil and I? When did I become the producer of The Real Deal with Bill McNeil? That was, was that in the fourth season. No, that was. I think that was season three. three. But yeah. the fourth season was when you became the boss of The Office for six episodes or something. Oh, I loved that. That was really fun. <laughs> No, no, not being boss, but all those episodes like where Dave and I, didn't we have to have a contest? Yes. That was a really funny episode. And there were about 20 episodes with Phil playing a piano. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. And this was the season that ended with the Titanic episode, which we just oh, watched a few minutes great. ago. Oh, that was great. That was really fun. Oh, and that boy was on it. Brad Rowe. That boy. Mm -hmm. That boy. Hello, that boy. boy. <laughs> Hello, little boy. Hello, sweet little boy. <laughs> Come to mama. Yes. Isn't that Andy. what you used to say to him, Maura? Come to yes. mama. <laughs> oh, Walt. I used to oh, say, come Walt. to mommy. <laughs> oh, I remember this. We had a hard time making that work for some reason. Remember that? That whole... Uh, yeah, with the, the, the rope the and rope the thing and the, pulling yeah. off. For some reason, the timing on that but was... But then there's a joke coming up I like a lot here where Andy gets tangled in the, in the, uh, tangled in the ropes and dragged across the floor. Yes. But I, I love I, that, all that story about me being the boss, because then didn't I freak out and Dave has to, like, talk me down? It was funny. It was good. Hang on, we're watching a yes. good side gig. <laughs> we're watching what? We're watching a good side gig. But I'm amazed at how good that one looked, too, with him flying, f flipping over. D d maybe you missed it. Maybe. I missed it. Oh, that was good editing. That looked great. Yeah, it looked very good. When did um, Rogan wear the harness, like, Mission Impossible style over Dave's desk? That I that would have to have been season two. That was not uh, him. That was, no, that was that was Andy. Andy did that. Was it Andy and Joe wears the thing in this episode? He comes down. Remember, he comes down next to Phil. Look, we just saw Andy's exposed buttocks because the, he'd been Again, dragged across which Andy the floor. Was, Andy was always willing to do. Yes, uh, only too uh, happy to do. No, Joe come, does, wears the harness in this thing. He comes down next to him. Remember? Oh, I think you might be right. My come, dog recently ate turkey off of Andy's ass. Really? Oh, was really? that uh, was that at your birthday party? Boy, we're looking at the special Look at effect that. now, and it looks that's looking down Sixth wow. Avenue. That's Sixth Avenue, and uh, looking at the that's Central look, Park. Looking up Sixth Avenue. I mean, looking up, so I mean, to speak. Excuse me. Yes, that looks pretty good, actually. It does this look good. This is a very visual show for me to be doing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, yeah. Was, well, well that sucks can't. for you, doesn't it? I can't contribute, is what I meant. Yeah, yes. sure. <laughs> what was your um, What was your least favorite episode of News Radio? Um, Everybody has there are one. So many to choose. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, my least favorite episode is when I had to say "Marry me, you bum." To uh, Patrick Warburton. To Patrick Warburton. Patrick to Buddy. Yeah. Well, save those thoughts because that's for se the season five DVD. Oh, okay. We haven't gotten there yet. You can unload on that one. What uh, else? Other people pick their least favorite episodes, really? Or am I no, the only one that's... I, no, You're the just, first one who's actually done it. <laughs> it's, the, it's the first time I thought to ask the question. Of course, this was the second time, I believe, the second time John Lovitz appeared on the yes. show. He and Phil were good friends. And The first uh, was when he was in the Insane Asylum. Was the, right. the, the mental ward. You know, we just saw in the Titanic episode your friend Emil. Emil. Emil? Oh, yeah. What's his name? Emil? Emil. Emil? Email. 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 Anyway, he was good. He was good. Now he sells real estate. Exactly. Oh, does he? Does mm -hmm. Finally, we got some but good trivia. Oh, there was a question yesterday, too. Maura, you, had to, you wore a wig once. On what, I did. <laughs> in one period? After why? you did Liar Liar? Is that yeah, why? Yeah, because my hair was really blonde. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, we couldn't we figure out why. Still shooting Liar Liar. And my friend said she tuned into the show and saw me and said, when did Maura become a Hasidic woman? <laughs> <laughs> was the wig that bad, really? Only in the first episode, and it wasn't, it was not Gabriella's fault. Like, she didn't really get a chance to work. So, the first episode, it was just really wiggy and too big, and then she fixed it. It was good. That's what I think of this case with Dave's uh, wig and this, too. This was the first one that appeared in, and it doesn't look that great. And the other ones, it looked, yeah. it looked pretty normal, but. It looked pretty normal in the other ones, really? Relatively. I mean, this one looks, this one looks pretty wiggy to me. It looks pretty fake. Well, we've discussed Dave's wig in every single yes. one of these commentaries. <laughs> yep. Did Dave talk about his wig? Yes. Yes, he did. He, uh, what did he say? He didn't love his wig. I no, he did not. Oh, no, he, he did, did not, not like, like that it. wig. No, the wig. <laughs> he did not like the wig. I like to tell one of my Tom Sharonis, my favorite Tom Sharonis stories. Ahead. 
like as long as we got you know more imitated him before yes tom was the director of many of the shows and uh at one point we were all gathered around i may have told the story before but whatever we were all gathered around trying to figure out some piece of comedy and uh we were all talking about it and at one point i turned to tom who happened to be standing there and i said well tom any thoughts and tom said you know something i don't write the I just film them. <laughs> <laughs> and Tom is directing Desperate Housewives that's right That's right. Now. Is that true? At this moment. Oh, that's great. It is great. That's good. Yeah. Maura, do you have yeah. any questions for us? We've done, um, this is like, the, this is, even though this is the first episode that on the DVD set, this is the very last of the commentary sessions we've done. This is the 10th one. And we're, we're so out of things to talk about. Oh, no. I almost want to say to people, skip ahead to the other commentaries and listen to those. Oh, I'll, although this would be a good this would be a good time to say that if anyone has any questions that they'd like us to answer on the next DVD, they can email newsradiodvd at yahoo.com, and then uh, we'll answer your questions on the next DVD. But remember, anything you write in, it becomes the property of Sony Enterprises and Entertainment forever into perpetuity. A division of what? I don't know. What are you supposed to say with that? I don't know. Did you only do 10, 10 shows? Only 10. I mean, you didn't do the full. You just, How do you pick which ones you did? Um, I went through and I picked out ones that I thought, uh, an episode each that displayed, you know, good moments for each of the actors so everyone would have, you know, an episode that had a lot of them in it. And then, you know, Vicky uh, and Steven ended up being the only people who showed up. Ask her about... Uh that's how. <laughs> ask her about uh, ask her about ones that we viewed. If she had any memories from any of them, Mora. Yeah. Do you have any memories? Do, oh, actually, maybe you can uh, solve this for us. What are your memories about Candy leaving? Mean. What, what do you mean exactly? I was trying to. I was trying to remember. Was she? Did she? Did she have another job offer already, or she just didn't want to be there, or she wanted more money, or I mean, ultimately. I I believe that I can answer that. It's two words. Yes. I wonder if I should. I don't yes. know. Lauren Graham. Lauren Graham was gone by then. Not necessarily. There was lots of talk that Lauren might... Lauren was going to maybe be on the show. But she did that Meryl Streep movie instead. Is that true? See, I kind of remember. That's what I was saying in the earlier yeah. DVD thing I was saying. I think people were upset because they thought NBC was trying to sort of force Lauren on the show. They were, weren't they? I don't. I thought that it was. It was a given that she was just going to be there for three or six episodes. Plan B. Yeah. And I, but I think people were scared of or worried about that. And with the, and with good reason. Yeah, absolutely. But the word that we sort of got was that she was offered to be on the show and but didn't do it. Oh. I wish Julie were here because she would remember. There's Joe lowering on the. Uh, you can't see it, but that's this is Joe coming down on the side of the building to talk to them. I'm, I'm amazed at how good that looks. That actually looks pretty good. That, I'm just going back to I don't think Lauren Graham was offered to be on the show and turned Maybe it down. Maybe it was a rumor. Oh, I, as a rumor, that sounds that sounds accurate. We also talked a bunch of times through these commentaries about uh, the frustration the cast members felt with having, eight, whatever, eight cast members and then all of a sudden the network telling us we should add another one. Was that difficult for you? Um, honestly? Yeah. <laughs> It was difficult, but I have to say those episodes that we did with Lauren... Hey, that's I, me. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, we're just interrupting for a second. That's Joe Fury making a cameo appearance. Oh, what are you... Are I you didn't mind? even remember doing that. Matthew is, is that downstairs the New York on an actual New York street, and they're dropping shoes and coins on him, and Joe Fury walked past. Anyway, it was difficult for you. Why? Because I was nervous, I'm sure, but I, I feel like those shows we did were really, really funny, and I thought I did good. I did better work when she got there, I think, because I was, I don't know. I, I remember the lie detector scene that you guys did uh, that was, yeah, when you were that confessing was all of fun. your crimes. Yeah. That was a good one. We they were it, actually yeah. great episodes, too. That's the thing that was episodes. funny about them. I mean, those were some so of the funnier it ones. worked out okay. I mean, I, whatever, actors are... Insecure, but I, I thought that it worked out good. Cause yeah, really I thought fun. it worked out in the it end. It did work out. Yeah, it all worked out in the end. Yeah, everything Except came out. So, what other episodes? What other ones? Uh, do we sh do we talk about? Maybe she could comment on. I can't remember. Let None? me think. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you really hit us at the end of a, of a long DVD session, Mora. Yeah. Um, what other? Oh, I, I try to think. Now Vicky's giving a press conference. <laughs> In a very odd dress. Whatever that dress is. Just 
does Vicky have straight hair at this point or curly? Hang on, hang on. Uh, it's sort of up in a bouffant. Yes. Of some sort. Um, oh, God, this is torture at this point. I really, seriously, anyone who's listening to these commentaries, just skip ahead to the other ones because we were full of life and had good questions and stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, it's too bad Andy should be doing this one because she's funny. Anyone but me should be doing this Oh, one. nonsense. Oh, no. Do you have Andy's number? <laughs> I do, as a matter of fact. I do, too. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll print him in. Uh, no, that's... Uh, at this point, we, we we really need to wrap this up and go do you, home. Do you have a uh, favorite episode, Maura, ever of the show? I love all of the sort of weirder ones we did. I love the Titanic one. I love the space one. I love the Daydream one. We do, too. And we were just talking earlier about how it's... Uh, some of the fans on the internet seem those seem to be their least favorite episodes. Really? Which is, which is odd. Yeah, it is I think. Odd. Well, I think I think what I from what I gather is they prefer that the characters are just in their normal environment. They didn't like them in an odd environment. Maybe it was just fun for us. But yeah, I, it was definitely fun for us. Yeah, that's true. Um, and I also liked one time when I had to say to Dave, Dave, you're like one of those diseased fish. In the aquarium that they have to put in a separate tank. <laughs> Wait, then I go, except you're not in a separate tank. <laughs> I don't remember that. that is I, 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 I vaguely remember that. Drake wrote that one? Yes. That is good. What, uh, do you have any other lines that you remember that you enjoyed saying? Um, is the man who owns the company. I love them hanging here. How like they don't even look the least bit concerned <laughs> that they're <laughs> they're <laughs> they're hanging twenty stories above the ground. Maura, do you have anything that you remember being uncomfortable doing? Oh, I hated when I had to wear Vicky's outfit. Why? Why? She was teeny weeny, and she had this like smoking hot pot, and I had to put on her like fishnet. Like it was a funny. It was a funny show, but I was really. What episode was that in? I'd like to go back and take a look at that. Yeah, that sounds good. I, I, don't, I had to put on her clothes. Because, and then I had to sing. Oh, because she was going somewhere. You had to sing what song? That, that my ex boyfriend wrote for me. <laughs> yes. Dave. Yeah, I remember that. Yes, you had to sing um, Come, Come Back Lisa. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's Wasn't right. that the name of the song? Season two, yes. I think. Her boyfriend wrote a Yeah, her ex boyfriend, Stuart, wrote a song about her. Yes, that was. One now, of the what about episodes. what about? I don't know if it was in this season or the last season. What about when you you and uh, Vicky and Candy had to go do the uh, fashion shoot? Oh, did you like it? I think I liked the way it came out. Good, good. What does that mean? Yeah, I just thought of something else. That what? Was Ooh, can I say? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. So you just said. Um, just <laughs> and you just did it also. <laughs> what? <laughs> and you just said uh, it by again. By the way, I didn't say it. Tom <laughs> Sharona said it, not me. <laughs> Joe's just reporting the facts. Yeah. Now listen, Maura, you just remembered something else before you spilled your fresca? Before you spilled your quote-unquote fresca? It's, it's a fresca. Yeah, on a Friday afternoon after a hard week of work, unwind with a little fresca. <laughs> fresca with a little booze in it, maybe? I hear you. <laughs> There's no booze in my fresco. Right. A little bit of booze. <laughs> no, what did you remember? You know that... what? If there were booze in my fresco, I might be being a little more entertaining. You're very entertaining You're being so very far. entertaining. It's Don't being... be sagacious about it. It's oh, being great. you know what else I really like? I'm th only thinking of the old ones. I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right. When that's I right. had to so... go to uh, MTV. And interview Anthrax? Yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> that made you yeah. uncomfortable or you enjoyed that? No, that's what I, I liked that. That's good. What were the ones that we watched? Can you remember other ones? I can't remember. What, 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 which one was that? We just watched them. I wish I could remember. We could ask her questions Maura, about, that we had Maura, for Maura, I have a question. <laughs> I have no, a question for Maura. Um, Maura, what, what, who was your favorite guest star? I loved um, John Stewart. Yeah, he was funny. That was a good one. Yes, that was good. Scout's on her. Yes, I make resist play. Maura, Maura. Yes. Who was your second favorite guest star? Um. <laughs> oh, you know who was great? Who? Um. Right on. John Ritter. John Ritter. Oh, John oh, yeah. Ritter. He yes. was a big fan. Everyone liked him. Yeah. He was that fun. That was great, and he played my ex professor, who was also my lover. That's, That's right. right. But you didn't actually have a kissing scene with him, did you? No, but 
he kissed Dave, remember? That's oh, right. that's right. Yeah. I, I don't know if that was on the show or in the, on the <laughs> gag reel. That was a good one. Yeah. Yes. Now, Maura. Maura. Yeah. There's Drake, by the way. Oh, there's there's Drake uh, reprising his role as as the lawyer, as Jimmy's, Jimmy's lawyer, lawyer. <laughs> Jimmy's lawyer. That's right. I always thought it was funny that for some reason Drake would put some kind of like wet stuff in his hair when he was playing the lawyer. That doesn't even look like Drake. He <laughs> looks what it, like strange. There, that's what like. it took for him to get into the character. Yeah. Um, Maura, I think we got him to play the lawyer because. Norm MacDonald was originally <laughs> Jimmy's lawyer, and Drake looks sort of like Norm MacDonald. And they talk sort of the same way. And they talk sort of the same way. Like we're thinking someone's going to remember. <laughs> Norm MacDonald was fun, too. He was fun. Although, yeah. although he never wanted, he didn't want to rehearse or anything because he said he had a tummy ache. <laughs> he would just sit in his room. Coming to the end here. Oh, is this the end of the episode? Oh, good. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Maura, who, yes. who is your least favorite guest star? Maura, no, no, hello. No, was good. I'm thinking. I, I like all the guest stars. <laughs> you did? I guess I, I did too. Who was your least favorite, Paul? Who who didn't take any direction from you? Um, I don't know. I think I I think I liked them all. The one I remember not taking the greatest direction was uh, uh, the guy who was on. You know. Uh, Oh no! Yeah, no. Th- thank he you for was, my. He was a no, bit of. Yes, uh, he was my least favorite guest star. He was horrible. He was kind of like. He was like a. He was like our fifth choice to play that part. That stupid part of. The yeah. yeah, and then we realized that all he was doing was he had a show to promote, so he was being a guest star on every sitcom he could find, all in the same week. He came in. You know, he was terrible. And he didn't seem like he wanted to do it. He didn't, or something. He didn't want to and, do it. He and we'd give be him there. notes. We'd go over and say things, and he'd kind of go like. Uh, all right. Like he was annoyed, sort of. It was, it was strange. And he wasn't good at, thank you for giving me an answer. Yeah, I didn't like him. I didn't even speak one word to him the whole time. You didn't have any scenes with him, did you? No, it was with Vicky. What episode, what season did um, I have to tutor Joe uh, to take some test? I don't remember, but did you like that or hate it? I liked it. Oh, well, there we go. And that's a, that's a perfect thought to end on, because here we are at the end of the credits. Say goodbye, Maura. All right, goodbye. Goodbye, Maura. Goodbye, Maura. Bye, Maura. <laughs> 